Goodbye, yo. Goodbye, What's up? Leo. Woo! You get me in my skivvies. That's right. You, Cancer and Virgo. You're gonna get me in my skivvies, my little yoga skivvies. Okay. Um, I love you for loving me. I love you. So, listen. Nowhere in the history of Leo has any Leo said, no, 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 uh, don't look at me. I don't want your love. <laughs> like, never, never. It ain't, in your, it ain't in your vocabulary. But this time, a little bit different. Because it's almost like you're wise. It's almost like you're wise to the fact that you're like, what? like, too much of this shit is bad. It's like a heroin overdose. I, I need I need to be in control of how much I let in to my life, especially when it comes to gratitude, because good shit is coming in for you, Leo. Yeah, no, it's like all the blockages and all those complications and conflicts to your fortune and your luck. All of all those blocks are it's gone. They're done. They're fucking over with. And then like where what oh the love starts coming in. It starts flowing and the goosh. And it's just like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't flood my house, right? I'm gonna put my what is it? The the um drawbridge up. I'm gonna put the drawbridge up to my kingdom. And I'm going to let it down in increments. I'm only going to allow some. It's like COVID. <laughs> oh, my God. It's like COVID restrictions, Leo. Leo is imposing COVID restrictions. No, but it, that's kind of what it is. And that it's like only so many allowed at a time. Why? Because this is my kingdom. It's almost like <laughs> you got wise. There's a big difference between self-respect and public attention. Like, it's different. Just because somebody, you ever seen that meme go around? I can't even take credit for it. Just because somebody wants you doesn't mean they value you. And that's what you're finally like, ah, okay. It's not that I want to block people out. It's not that I want to um, be mistrustful or, you know, be suspicious. I'm not, I'm not, but I'm wise. I learned got it now. I got it. So I'm going to let only so many people in at a time because you know what's really fucking important? My kingdom. My kingdom is what's important because you ain't a king without a kingdom. Okay. So I want my kingdom. I don't just want attention. I want a kingdom, which means boundaries. Okay. Not everybody gets in this bitch. I'm in a castle for a reason because not everybody deserves me. So ultimately, Leo, that's what you're getting wise to. And yes, the attention is coming in. <gasps> Come and get your love. It's shower. You're being literally foosh, showered with affection. And you're like, okay, I'm not drowning in this shit. Don't deluge me. Say it, don't spray it. That's what you're doing. It's almost like I I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be such a fucking whore for attention and affection. I don't have to be. You wanna know why? Because I put the goddamn moat around my fucking kingdom. Because I put the boundaries and I put the walls and I, I have real people in my kingdom. So I have love. It may not be like millions and millions and millions. But that's what you learned oh, a few months ago. Quality over quantity. Because you was letting people in just because they flattered you. And just because they loved you. And just because they worshipped you. And then they fucking ruined you, or they used you, or they manipulated you. And you know what? It's just because they want you and they want access to your shit does not mean that they actually deserve it. So that's what you learn. And you may have had to learn it the freaking hard way. And you may have gone through a little snafus, some conflicts, some issues just recently to remind you, yo, what? Hello? Abundance is coming your way. And I've said this so many times, Leo. I said it on my dailies most especially. You want the universe to clear out the fucking trash. You want it to clear out all those people who are just fake friends. That was not the universe hating you. That was the universe loving you. Because they knew there was a 
big old flow of abundance coming in. And they don't want you to have to share it or have all those vultures and jackals, you know, coming in and like trying to feed off of your good stuff. It's like, no, 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 no. This mass exodus was of the trash. Get it out. Get it out. And now that it's out, there's a moat built around my kingdom. There's a drawbridge. There's a lot of people bum rushing me. Because you know, people be smelling value from a mile away. It's like, mmm, who's cooking that good shit? You know, it's like the story of the little red hen. You know the story. We grew up with the story. Let's go over the story briefly. Little Red Hen went up to the fox. Could you help me? I want to make some bread, but I got to get the ingredients. Oh, I'm too tired. I don't have time, but you're supposed to be my friend. I don't really have to. I am your friend, but you know, I'm not available when you need me. Oh, okay. So she went on to cow. She was like, mm, I'm going to need some milk for my bread. Can, you know, you're, you're a cow. Can you hook me up? They're like, you're like, I'm really tired. I don't feel like doing it today. Can you come back later? And she was like, yeah, but I need it or else I can't bake the bread. She's like, they're, they're, he was like, move on, bitch, because you can't get no milk for me right now. I'm sorry. Right? Okay. I got to respect you, cow. Little red hen was like, you know, maybe that's just your boundary. I'll respect you. Okay. And then she moved on to whatever, fucking whatever, wherever, you know, fucking sheep. And she asked them for help. And she was like, she was like, bad time for me. Sorry, little red hen. Apologize. Peace out. Love you. Mean it. You know, when people say that they don't really fucking mean it. Right? So little red hen, that's you. Went back and she was like, well, I still want to make my bread. So she went out and she got all her shit. And she fucking like tilled her goddamn flour. She made her flour. She made, you know, she took the barley. She made it into flour. She she got she got milk from somewhere. You know, she put all her ingredients together. She put all the ingredients together. She cooked it. She stirred it with a little feather that weren't even made for stirring. She don't even have opposable thumbs. But she was stirring that shit, right? And then she made it all and she baked it. And holy shit. It was delicious. And guess what? That smell from that bread, seriously, like brief, just like um, brief divergence from the story here. Um, fresh baked bread is literally one of my most favorite smells in the entire world ever. Like it, it, if you've ever been by a bakery, like three o'clock in the morning when they're really just baking it, like it's just like... The best fucking smell in the world. And so they was smell. They were like, oh, oh my God. It's like in the cartoon where the aroma wind comes and like cooks them under their nose and like brings them back, right? That's kind of what it was. And they were all like, oh my goodness, little red hen, you can cook. That smells so good. Can I get some? And she was like, uh, no. Because I asked your asses for help. They're like, don't be vengeful. Don't be petty. And she's like, that ain't vengeful. That ain't petty. That's self-respect. Y'all wasn't here when I needed you to help me. So this bread right here, motherfuckers. This bread right here. This is my bread. You go get your own bread. Peace out. Bam. Moat closed. Door done. Leo, that's you. That's what you're going through right now. And you're not even mad about it. You're not even mad. It's not because it's not about revenge. It's not about exclusivity. You know, you're not saying only this type of person can come in my kingdom. No, you're basically saying I'm only going to take in so many people at a time. Right? Because good people, bad people, they come in all shapes and sizes. Not a male, female thing. It's not a black, white thing. It's a behavior thing. It's a character thing. People show you who they are and you need time to sift through. So if there are a million people outside your door, you're like, nice, but I'm just going to let in eight at a time. And we'll see how these fuckers, eight fuckers behave. And if they don't behave right, I'm kicking their asses out. They can swim across the moat. Peace on. Move on. Get out. Get out. But I'm going to let people in. No matter how much they flatter me or how much this love comes in, I'm modulating this shit so that I can control it. I'm not going to get deluged. I'm not going to drown in this crap. And I'm certainly not going to get bowled over. I'm not going to let the flow pick me. I'm going to pick the flow. That's where you're at right now. Okay. So where do we start? This is how I know. Because bam, 
<clears throat> any kind of restriction or conflict or and or it or or blockage to your luck it's over it's done peace out peace out peace out it's done it's over it's coming in and guess what fishy 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 that's finances bitches finances and then you have the star ah, all your aspirations all your dreams this is like financial dreams come true baby this is like go you go play that lottery ticket man go on leo go play that lottery ticket go on but that's what it is it's like all this aspirational financial things really coming true it's 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 like abundance coming into your life so, right so it's like oh oh the outpouring of love outpouring accept it yes you should accept it but you should also get wise to it and realize that all of these things like like enjoy let the stars be your guide, but don't let the stars get in your eyes. Don't let the stars get in your eyes. Don't let the moon break your heart. Dude, you love Perry Como? I love Perry Como. I swear to God, I rock Perry Como. I rock him. Anyway, ultimately, this is what I'm talking about. It's like, yes, you see the light. You see the light of what love really is and how love really flows and what it really is. It's an open offer. It's an unconditional offer. It's caring. It's people loving you. It's people caring about you. You see the light. Don't let the stars get in your eyes. Don't let them blind you, but let them guide you. And how do you let them guide you? is you keep them at a fucking distance. You know what I'm saying? It's like, that's the kind of level, it's like star level shit coming at you. You're a star, baby. You're already a star, honey. You don't, you don't need all those other motherfuckers around here, okay? You know, too many stars come in the room and they just dull your shine. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you don't need too many people. You really don't. And it's almost like, I'm not going to let the stars get in my eyes. I'm not going to get lost in this shit. I'm going to take this little by little, one at a time, because it's about me too. You know, I know that I could lose myself in this. I know that I can go crazy with this. And I don't want to go crazy. I don't want to go crazy. I want to remain in control of this situation. And so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be very conservative with how I accept my blessings. And I don't mean there's no politics here. It's not about conservative. I'm talking about just one at a time. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Because listen, the abundance, it's yours. It's not going to go away. It's waiting for you. Keep it in a silo until you fucking need it. That's what's going to happen. And it, that's based on your wisdom. It's based what, on what you uh, like, what you learned through life. Take bite size. This is what you're not afraid of, dude. You're not afraid to face this mass coming at you. You're not afraid to face this big challenge. And the big challenge, what's your greatest challenge? Your greatest challenge is ultimate success like getting everything that you want all at once it's like okay that's pretty formidable that can really overcome me guess what it's not going to overcome you because you are not afraid to take it one step at a time you know that this is a long path you know that this is a long road and you know that this is going to be around this is sustainable i'll tell you how i know that you know. I'll tell you that I know that you know. I know that you know because of the fact that you created this. Okay? It's not like it's just like, oh, come out of the blue. It's not like a lottery win. You created this abundance. This abundance is coming to you because you create. So in other words, what you made, you have a handle on. So you know it inside and out. And you know it's not going to go anywhere. So please do just take the reins and say, hey, you know what? I'm on my own trajectory here. You know, I started this badass bitch. I built this badass bitch. I know that it could go from zero to 200 in 1.5 seconds, but it doesn't mean I have to make it. It doesn't mean that I have to let everybody use it, right? I don't have to let everybody use it because I'm afraid of not keeping up with public opinion. No, I want to take care of what I built because what I built is beautiful and I'm going to honor what I built and I'm going to honor my own energy and I'm going to acknowledge the value and the beauty and the gratitude toward the heavens by by showing that I value it by not letting it get sloppy by not opening my castle to people who are going to party and puke all over it like no that's not what I built my castle for my castle is precious and now I know how precious it is. And I know how valuable the energy that makes these rocks and that set these rocks stone by stone. I know how valuable that is. So I'm not going to invite just any fucker off the street in here to shit all over it. I'm not going to do it. First, I'm going to see how the fuck you behave. And I'm going to see if you're worth 
even talking to, let alone letting in my castle because my castle matters. This is look at yourself and love yourself. It's like stop looking for love everywhere else and find it in the fucking mirror. That's where you got to find your love, Leo. That's what you got to look in. And I know people are like, Leo's love themselves. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. They're very hard on themselves and they're very demanding on others because they need the constant they need a constant, they need the constant validation. This is you validating you. Cooperation. That's getting help from other people. But this is relying on your friends. This is a lot of people swarming around you, right? That's a lot of people. Because you're real attractive now. Lots of people work and want to work with you. They want to be all around you. Resolution is here, right? There's a hard times. There's struggle. Def definitely there's struggle there's struggle ahead and i think this struggle is in the midst of abundance because that's the big old hitch it's like that's that's the cap that that's what makes it very difficult is that it's this uh, this struggle is coming in the middle of abundance so it's almost like do i do i celebrate if I'm, i oh i'm on an upswing so i might as well no don't mc hammer this shit you know MC Hammer, the, the famous story. I'm not trying to disrespect uh, the MC. I'm, uh, what's up, MC Hammer? If you're watching this, what's up? Um, uh, no, I'm not trying to disrespect him, but that, like that's what happened. It's like he was on top of his game. He was the hottest thing. Everybody wanted him around. He was making a ton of money. And then all of a sudden, he had like all these friends and all these relatives that came out of the woodwork. And he literally bankrupted himself and got into debt because he was so busy giving all that shit away. That's not self-respect. That's not goodness because there's no boundary to it. There's no yin to the yang. You know what I'm saying? This is you really fighting off this dragon of wanting to impress and wanting to go so big and show off so much that you basically disrespect all the energy took to get that value to begin with. That's what you don't want. This is a sense of believe spirit is going to send you these blessings. There's some hard times. There's some very emotional times. You could be caught up in your feels right now. I would not be surprised no because there is there's turmoil in here you know how to make the turmoil go away you got to trust yourself you got to trust what you know is true and you got to stop saying bad mean shit to yourself especially all that shit you must have been saying with those chiron oppositions or whatever in um uh, in October, all that bad shit that must have been coming in your head about yourself. Oh, hypercritical, self-critical, destroying how you feel about yourself. Stop, 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 stop. Ultimately, inner conflict is supposed to bring us closer to ourselves, right? That sense of, listen, you're not perfect. That, that's what this card pretty much means. It's like, you're not perfect. Nobody's perfect. Like nobody's all good and all bad. You have to accept all aspects of yourself. You're allowed to be weak. You're allowed to be ugly. You're allowed to be imperfect. You're allowed. And if people can't accept you for all of you, then they really haven't accepted any of you. They've just taken the bits and pieces that they want to pick on for themselves. And that kind of shit just isn't allowed. Goddess of oneness. And it's so interesting that it showed up with this card. It's like, you need to see the beauty in everything that you are you're dark and you're light and you got a big dose of your shadows recently especially those shadows of like self-hate and self-doubt so ultimately leo this is you coming into a state of oneness and that's why you have more value it's like i built this I built this confidence. I built this oneness. I built this yin yang. I built this all together. I built this wholeness. I built this. And I'm not going to rip it apart piece for piece by piece for your convenience. Wisdom, baby. That's what it is. You done got wise, honey child. This is it. This is the peacock feathers, right? But yes, she's a peacock. She's beautiful. You're going you're gonna to recognize her. You're going to come looking for her. She doesn't need to come, bark, bark, look at me, look at me. She doesn't need to. You know now. You know what gives you value. You know that you don't have to go searching for validation. You've learned this lesson. You probably learned it the hard way. Yes, you did. Trapped, held up, tied down, stuck in something. What are you stuck in? What are you stuck in? Past hurt, past fear. This is some sort of liberation that came near the full moon. As, honestly, this is what it is. It's almost like really trusting your instincts and that's all you needed to do to liberate yourself. Prosperity and freedom, baby. 
just literally like open and this is like this is like finances coming in so if you were stuck somehow like something was stuck something was held up especially with finances because the, the moon was in taurus there was a sense of just being tied up you liberated yourself i think you may have gotten rid of a lot of debt uh paid it off finished it you're free it's over with you're done or it was like forgiveness or whatever government forgive whatever it is there's some sort of financial burden that's been lifted or you've gotten some money so that the financial burden is going to be lifted compassion this is you know what be kind to others as you are would, would have them be kind to you but don't be kind to others when they're not kind to you you don't owe them shit you know what i'm like i'm i'm dead serious like that's kind of what this card means um but ultimately it's just it's just when you go through a lot that's how compassion forms like compassionate people are people who have lived through the storm so that they understand that there are different walks of life and there are different parts of life and that life isn't always pretty. And it's like the more compassionate people are very empathetic people because they have a lot of experiences that have opened them up to, you know, experiences that other people might want to stay away from. So it's like compassion is the wisdom that you have now and an acceptance of your emotions. Like be compassionate with yourself and all those emotions that are rising up in you, don't push them down or be like, no, you don't have a right to feel that you don't have a right to feel that your life is good right now your life is good right now because you made it that way you constructed it okay that's a time to review your own value go over your own value all right and show some respect for yourself by just letting yourself be afraid be scared be angry be upset you know let those emotions come to the surface be real with them and be true to them hold up we're gonna get into these spirit guide messages spirit guide messages oh there's abundance coming in i'm telling you like there is always enough came out like that's abundance coming in just like a plethora uh oh, 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 oh. this is money because this is taurus energy this is also being selected being crowned being chosen like finally getting credit for what where, where, where you deserve so leo this is definitely somebody choosing you deciding on you uh, maybe a new job, you know, uh, money coming in. There's this, this is money. This is definitely house of finances. So this is prosperity, abundance, fertility, all that good shit kind of coming out in the future position, but not the distant future. This is, this is emotionally, there's, there's a lot of emotions going on. There's, there's a huge slew of emotions, but there's also this intuitive connection to spirit, which is it's tethering you. It's sustaining you. And ultimately, Leo, it's what's letting you know you can get through this. You got this. No, no, like no questions asked. Spirit has a plan and take time out. You are protected. You don't have to push yourself. This is divinely guided and divinely executed. So it's almost like you're being watched over and guarded by the gods that have decided that, that you have to do this for them. It's like, yeah, they may have given you this intuitive assignment, but they're not going to leave you with nothing. They're not going to, oh, where my bangs go? Come on. Um, they're not going to leave you with nothing, Leo. They're not going to leave you high and dry. No, no, no. They're sending reinforcements to protect you. Um, they, they, this abundance or this financial aid, if you will, um, might be coming in as their way of protecting you. It's like, no, spirit, spirit's going to provide. Spirit's going to provide as soon as you need it, um, as when you need it. Uh, dream the world into being your past is influencing your future so there could be some future opportunity uh, opportunity is coming out of the past into the future essentially or basically leaving your past behind you make your dreams real is here so holy shit this is keep on building even if something has blown down your web remember the spider has the spider's web is its kingdom right so it it can't be it, it can't feel guilty for some of some of some of its its uh strings being sticky right because spiders gotta eat right spider is a motherfucking spider but it's also a sense of this is happening in scorpio season in scorpio season you're really basically defining your kingdom and you're building it based on your specs you're looking back and you're saying okay stop wait, wait. not what does everybody else need what do i need what goes into this for me like what do i need it's not it's not about everybody else it's about it's about a first and foremost this is my kingdom what do i need okay thank you very much be generous of spirit looking into the future having confidence and faith this is also you being yourself 
being happy and fulfilled and filled with faith and knowing, looking confidently into the future, knowing that you're guaranteed it because you're going to create it. And this is let it shine. Let your voice out. Speak your words. Say what's really on your mind. Let I want to, I want to hear you roar, Leo. That's what I want. And it's not about yelling at somebody. It's about sharing your own unique experience. In other words, this is telling me you're coming out of hard times. The hard times aren't completely over yet, but there's a break coming for you. And it's beautiful. Um, last but not least, crow, no, no, there's two more. Crow spirit. So this is, you got some divine guidance and message or divine purpose from spirit. And there could be some dark times, but it's almost like you're starting to see the wisdom that's come from the dark times um, and turn knowledge. Into, something was hidden. I told you, see wisdom, 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 turn knowledge into wisdom. It's like, yeah, you un like, do you really understand something? This is like your chance to really get to the heart of something. There is something that is to be known here. Like something has to be known here. Something is undercover and you're about to undercover it. You're about to discover it. It's about to blow the fuck up. It's coming to the surface. This is emotions. All of this again, it's coming around again. Oh my God, this is Piscean energy again because this is the moon card. This is all those things that were hidden in the depths are now coming up and being revealed in order for you to be whole and heal what are those things well 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 we're gonna go to tarot yeah look below the link is below let's go into a full tarot spread um and yeah we'll see the nitty-gritty get we'll see the nitty-gritty we'll get to the nitty-gritty if you have not subscribed to the channel yet leo please do boom click that bell help the channel grow i also do dailies monday through friday daily readings where i go live on instagram so please do join me at born underscore without underscore boundaries over on instagram Instagram. Subscribe to my video Vimeo channel. You can then you'll get notifications as soon as I upload them because I actually upload them and they go live one day before the YouTube videos. So uh, you can actually get a preview of the extended if you wanted to if you subscribe to the Vimeo channel. And then last but not least, my website, man. You can subscribe to my website and have them all just uploaded right there for you. Um, but also over on the Vimeo channel, I do astrological predictions for every single week. Um, and those are free, man. You don't even have to rent them. So if you want to get them as soon as they go live, you should subscribe over there or subscribe to my email, um, my email blast because I send that out the day before as well. So anyway, brief little promotion. Thank you for helping the channel. Thank you for sticking around. You're going to get some angel messages. Let's get into the angel messages because they have a wisdom that there's no way I reach. So I'm glad that I have these cards to let the angels speak their voices and they're around me all the time everywhere I swear to God I'm not kidding you I've literally gotten messages in my in my you know in my messages below the videos like what are those orbs floating around you do you see them do you are you aware of it Michelle and I'm like I know that my angels are around me all the time I know that I'm protected I know that I'm loved um I know all that but no I, I'm pretty sure it's what it's just dust that you're saying <laughs> <coughs> I cannot deny or confirm. Divine mystery, Leah. That's your first message from your angels. You are, you along with the sun, earth, moon, and stars are part of one creation. A divine mystery unfolding each moment. Be present and feel the power of now. Be in the moment and witness the wonder of it all. You're not where you were and you're not where you will be. You are here right now. And you take the first step forward and then the next step. And that's how you move one step at a time. Harmony. Disharmony occurs when we try to resist life's natural flow. Everything has its cycle. Every stage of life has its own unique meaning and purpose. Every day can be harmonious if we want it to be. Archangel Michael. I love you, Archangel Michael. Um, is here. The path is now clear. I have removed all obstacles in your way. You can move forward now with ease and confidence. You will achieve what your heart desires. That's beautiful. I love you, Archangel Michael. Let the past go. Forgiveness. Clear your heart and mind through forgiveness. And Leo, this huge message, I'm going to share it to you. Like, 
it huge message. As soon as I read this, I knew this is not about forgiving other people. This is about forgiving yourself. This is about forgiving, not being disappointed with yourself and not hating yourself for being human, for being imperfect, for being stuck. It's about you, like I said, showing yourself compassion and through that, accepting all parts of yourself so you move forward whole, which is strong. Now we're going to go to tarot and get to the nitty gritty. That link is below. Leo, I'll see you guys over there.